I've had an Amazon seller account for well over a decade, and I've sold pretty seriously on Amazon for the past six years, roughly. I have experience with literally every single method of selling on the platform. In my opinion, the overall best method is leveraging wholesale suppliers because it's one of the best scalable, consistent, and easy to start ways of selling on the platform. But most people don't know that you actually don't need to purchase in bulk and spend thousands of dollars ahead of time in order to leverage this business model. You can actually combine Amazon Wholesale with drop shipping too, which opens up a whole new can of possibilities for you. This isn't always the best way to go for everybody though. So in this video, we're going to compare selling wholesale on Amazon FBA to drop shipping on Amazon. And we'll talk about the benefits and the drawbacks of each. And I'll talk about my experience with both of them. As we touched on in the previous comparison video that I did, selling wholesale on Amazon FBA is a business model where you buy products in bulk from a manufacturer or distributor and then sell those products back on Amazon. One of the key benefits of this model is that you can buy products at a lower price due to the bulk purchasing power that you'll have with these companies over time. You also won't actually need to run any ads to your products to generate sales either, or even build a brand at all because you're sourcing products typically that already have demand and already typically have a recognizable brand name on Amazon. There's a ton of scalability here because you're typically selling products with lots of demand and you're leveraging Amazon FBA who will do all the logistics, all the customer service, and all the fulfillment for you. One of the main drawbacks of this, however, is that you'll be competing with other sellers who are also selling the same products, usually from similar, if not the same exact distributors, so their cost of goods can be the same as yours. And one of the main issues that I faced when learning this business model was understanding how to properly test listings before jumping full into them. There can be a lot more risk on product listings like this because you typically need to buy a lot more inventory in bulk for them, which means if you miscalculate your competition or the product opportunity on that listing, it can be a costly error and a costly learning experience. Like we just covered, many manufacturers require a minimum order quantity, which means you have to invest a large amount of money upfront to get into each listing, which is not the case when doing wholesale dropshipping. Wholesale dropshipping is more similar to wholesale FBA than most people realize too, but it does come with a lot less risk. And despite what most people think, it is actually within the terms of service on Amazon. So you're not breaking any rules when doing this. You are allowed to drop ship on Amazon if it's from wholesale suppliers where you are the seller of record on the invoice. When wholesale drop shipping, you take the same exact approach that you would take when buying wholesale products in bulk. You set up accounts with wholesale companies and then you scan their product lists to see if their products are selling on Amazon and are profitable. And then you list the products that are profitable and are selling and then wait for the sales to roll in. The only differences here are that when you're applying to suppliers, you need to make sure that they'll actually work with drop shippers. The easiest way to do this is to check if they have no minimum order quantities and they offer order fulfillment. You also don't ship your products into FBA either. Instead, the wholesale company ships the product directly to the customer on your behalf and you keep the profit, hence the drop shipping. There's software that will take care of your entire wholesale drop shipping business for you, which is a game changer as well. And I covered all of this in depth in a recent video. So if you wanna check it out, it's linked up in the right hand corner right now. I'll also put it at the bottom of the description if you wanna watch it at the end of this video. The drawback of wholesale drop shipping compared to wholesale FBA is that the supplier pool that you'll be able to work with is much less typically than if you weren't drop shipping because not every wholesale supplier will be drop ship friendly, which can limit your prospects. On top of that, if you're a brand new seller, your sales definitely might be a little bit lower in the beginning because you'll be competing with other sellers that are shipping their products into FBA and both shipping time to the customer and your sales history and trustworthiness are both key factors in what gets the buy box. But keep in mind, as you build some trust with Amazon and start to rank your account and get more sales, this will change drastically. It's more of an issue in the beginning when you don't have an account that already has sales history. In my opinion though, the benefits of drop shipping far outweigh the drawbacks with this. You don't need to spend thousands of dollars on inventory before ever getting a sale. You also don't need to inspect the products yourself and then ship them into FBA either because your supplier will handle all the shipping for you. There's software out there as well that like we covered will run about 95% plus of your business for you once you get the listings up and running in Seller Central. And you only need to spend money 
after the sales occur on Amazon and after you're guaranteed the profit. So hopefully after that detailed breakdown, you understand each a little bit better and which one might be better for you. The truth is both are great ways, they're just different. I have detailed playlists on both of these with dozens of videos where I go more in depth on each one. If you'd like to learn about either one, I'll link both of those playlists in the description. And remember, if you'd like to learn more about how to set up a wholesale dropshipping business that pretty much runs itself all with software, there's a short five minute video up on the screen right now that will We'll cover everything you need to know in depth. As always though, this is just my experience with both of these and why I believe there's still a massive opportunity in each. I really hope it helps.